for warming up would be to just try and encourage my horse to get his muscles warmed up by giving him a jog around and letting him work long and low and have a nice stretch. Um, I also would just let them take in the surroundings when I go to competitions for warming up, um, give them an extra five, 10 minutes before I'd actually start properly working them just to let them relax and know that they're somewhere different. Or you can even try, if your horse is pretty excitable, I would try and give them a lunge or something before when you get to the competitions, before you get on so that they're mentally a little bit more relaxed and then you can start working them and hopefully that their brains are with you. If you aren't fortunate enough to have a school, what top tips can you use at Hacking? Hacking is a great way to help school your horse. I wouldn't be worried if you don't have a school to use all the time. Hacking is a great way to just really establish the basics, get them working, concentrating on you, keep them round, supple, just loads of basic transitions, moving them away from each leg, onwards a little bit, backwards, making sure of the straightness and being very aware of your own your own riding while you're out of keeping a very even weight, keeping yourself straight. You know, m many things can be learnt and really worked on while hacking. So don't worry if you don't have a school to work in the whole time. How can leg yielding be beneficial for, for sort of jump, for jumping, but what you do when you're doing that work? Um, leg yielding is helpful um, that w would help towards the jumping as well. I mean, all flat work helps towards the jumping. Just having them off the aids and on your, on your command is all helpful for when you're jumping. So you can sit up and get the horse to wait or you can ride them to a fence and they're, they're working with you. They're very much on the aids. So the better you can get the flat work, the easier you will find the jumping. How can you make the most of the trot around the outside of the arena before you enter for your dressage test? I think trotting around the edge of the arena is, is a very special time to really, you know, be one step ahead and know when the one before you is coming out of the arena to get the most amount of time you can, if that is what suits your horse, to get in there and just get around the arena two or three times to get him to breathe and relax. So many horses get a bit of stage fright when they go into a main arena that using those two or three times to give a canter round, give, you know, counter counter round. So you're always trying to get them to do something that's a little bit harder that makes them think to you rather than be giving them time to look around at the crowds and things like that. It's, it's quite a valuable two minutes that you can really know whether you're just going to do a very good test or not. And so it definitely needs thinking about and using carefully. If a horse gets tense at competition, how can you sort of help him whilst warming up? If a horse is tense at a competition, like I said earlier, I think a nice loose lunge when you arrive somewhere is is helpful with someone that's experienced at the end of the line. You don't want to see them galloping around flat out or being stupid because that might cause an injury or getting them even more stressed. But to have a really good, nice, loose trot and a loose canter, if they want to have a little buck um, and things like that, that's, that's absolutely fine. But it can, you can really assess whether a horse is nice and chilled. If they're trotting around, really looking around and very tense by it all, you can just keep them lobbing around there nice and gently until you know that they're relaxed. They're relaxed in their transitions off the voice aid. They're not buzzing around looking at all the atmosphere like a crazy thing. And you know then that when it's um, time to get on, they would have just taken a deep breath and be a lot happier. But um, like I say, make sure the person on the end of the lunge line just has a bit of experience and doesn't just let them gallop about like a crazy thing. Mm -hmm. And how can you practice your square hole? Oh, well, I keep practicing, trying to practice my square hold, but I'm not very good at it. So I think it's just um, a matter of just practicing the whole time. It's very handy if you can have a mirror or you can have someone that stands with you while you're practicing because so often you can't quite feel if it's square or not and you end up leaning down to have a look, which then the horse can move or feel a little bit unsettled from it. So 
it's quite handy to have someone there to help to see what it feels like um, and just just keep practicing.